It has been tornado season for this week in weather history. For the past few weeks, we've told you about some of the nastiest storms to hit Nebraska, some of the most destructive. But this week, we're bringing you a storm that produced, at the time, the biggest tornado ever. We're going to send it now to 3 News Now meteorologist Joseph Meyer for this week in weather history. In the annals of Nebraska tornado history, the Omaha tornado 1975, the Grand Island tornadoes of 1980, the Pilger tornado 2014, the Hallam, Nebraska tornado on May the 22nd, 2004, easily ranks up there in the big ones here. Here's a look at some of the radar from that day. Thunderstorms started blowing up along the Platte River by around 5 to 6 o'clock. This storm would basically go down US 30, producing a tornado south of Schuyler and one just on the northeast side of Fremont near the Walmart. This storm would eventually produce hail up to the size of three inches in diameter in Blair as it moved on through. But our focus is going to be off here to the south. The storm rapidly started developing in Thayer County, Nebraska, southwest of Lincoln. Storm went from being a small shower to a tornado producer in just 30 minutes near and just north of Hebron. So the storm then crossed into northern Jefferson County. It touched down near the town of Dakin and it would eventually go over 60 miles through several counties here. The tornado would go between Lincoln and Meatrice, missing the bigger cities, but it still hit some small towns. As it moved through Saline County, the tornado clipped this far southeastern side of Wilbur, damaging some structures there, including some structures in the sound center of Wilbur. The tornado continued to grow both in size and in strength as it clipped Gage County and then running into southern Lancaster County, unfortunately hitting the community of Hallam dead on, where Almost every home suffered some damage and the storm took its only life. The tornado then continues through the rest of Lancaster County, eventually lifting near the town of Palmyra in western Odo County. The storms eventually formed into a big line of storms that produced 80 mile an hour winds and a couple of smaller tornadoes. We zoom in here, the track as it moved near Hallam, 2.5 miles wide, which is the second widest tornado in U.S. history until the uh, Reno tornadoes in 2013. For more information, you can find it on 3newsnow.com. Go to weather, click on weather history, you can see the blog post there.